on, you guys? It is your boy, the American F1 fan, Eric Ringel here, and today we are going to be reacting to Formula One video uh, titled Top 10 Flying Formula One Cars. As we all know, Formula One Cars, from time to time, will take off flying, but it's very rare, but there's at least 10 instances that Formula One have found, and these are the top 10 instances we're going to take a look at today. So, guys, join me as we react to the top 10 flying F1 cars in 3, 2, 1, and go. Major contact. Oh, Jesus. Nico Rosberg going off with the back marker of Formula One in the 20 teens. HRT. And that was. Uh, yeah, Carter Kane was in the middle of blowing up. Lorraine <laughs> Carter Kane. That he runs over the top of him. And you can just see the smoke beginning to come out. We think, just, uh, I'm pretty sure. Like, you just see all the carbon fiber. And, and that goes along to the safety of Formula One. Just cars break up uh, a lot easier with carbon fiber because it, it kind of de decelerates the, the, the speed. And it, it's supposed to cr not create more injuries and more... You know, uh, it's just supposed to be more of a safety feature for cars to break away like that. But, like, this picture right here alone between Nico and Narain, Nico's li listening to Narain and he's going, he's thinking in his head, you're an idiot. Like, you're an idiot. Get out of, stand, how are you guys even on the track right now? Like, that's okay. ridiculous. He's like, yeah, yeah, get off the track, you moron. So Petrov, Ooh, Vitaly Petrov, Petrov Malaysia, 2011. Oh, oh. Steering column like, has actually broken, Martin. Look at that. Steering has come off of oh his Oh, my hands. God, yeah. Still... yeah. If you're looking at the video as it's playing, you can see, like, the steering column is, like, just dangling there. Like, Jesus. Connected but it looks like he hit, like, a support. ramping of, like, it's some of the cement as it's he it's ran way taken. wide. Whoa. Like, Jesus. We, the F1 talks about sausage curbs, Jesus, around the track, even just some of the grass, like from cement to grass, there's ramps there, jeez. Oh, oh. Timo Glock on his first run for Toyota. <laughs> Timo Glock. Doing the, almost the exact same thing as Vitaly oh, Petrov there. Oh, Ran just right wide there on the corner in Australia and then just the sit on the floor. literally hits a ramp. No like literally hit a ramp. Jeez. Oh, good lord! 94 Portugal, Damon Hill. And I decided to keep going to get the lap time, and, and he came back onto the track and uh, hit, me, hit my car, and my car turned over. And just, but unfortunately, it was not hurt. That's it, without the halos or without really, like, a roll hoop that protects the driver's heads, like... That could have ended up very seriously hurt, uh, injuring Damon Hill. Thank God it didn't. Good Lord. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! The halos are there. So I. So let me. I'm gonna rewind it because I want to see what year this was. If I. If this is the year. Let's see. So this is 2018. So this is. I believe the Halos have just come into effect at this point, and thank God they did, because Fernando went flying over Charles Leclerc, and thank God that Halo was there, because that that could have that could have knocked out Charles Leclerc. And there's uh, uh, I'm trying to see if I can see a number there. We'll, we'll see here. Oh, Nico Hulkenberg! From behind by Hulkenberg, didn't they? Yes. Man. Charles Leclerc getting so, so lucky there. Uh, was Fernando Alonso. He gets a thump now. Man, flies and right over the ring. Around. And you saw the bottom of the car just hit the top of the halo. If that halo wasn't there, serious injury coming Charles Leclerc's way there. Like, so lucky the, the halos were in effect at that point. Just, we are all fine, uh, especially Charles that I flew over uh, his car. And, uh, yeah, the halo. Oh man, if you look really closely, let's see if I can just go back enough here. Charles. You can see the mark of of uh, Fernando Alonso's vehicle, where the mark is right here that he left on his car 
as his, as his car landed on top of that halo. Like That's just... Over, uh, his car. Man. And, uh, yeah, the halo today was a, a very good thing to, to have. On board with Charles Leclerc. Mm -hmm. was coming. He did now. My God. So waiting for Tracy was potentially Ricardo the worst and Tracy, accident for his career. 92. Berger saw catch it this oh! way. Oh! No, it was just a misunderstanding. But Tracy was, was trying to catch the slipstream on the, on the front stretch. stretch. And then and I he didn't realize Berger was going into the pits. Already and so it was too late. Until, uh, touch oh my God. Flying over me and I was really Luckily his I was car sure like didn't flip all the way over. Thank God. Jesus, he's lucky. Where's it coming? Where's it going? Oh! Bertie goes over the top. Uh, so Who the was that? Video you saw on TV. Uh, Michael, for some reason, had a problem. Yeah, Michael, Sh Michael Schumacher having a problem going really slow. And you can see this yellow car right here was just in uh, Bertie's way. And then... As Bertie pulled out from behind him, I mean, it was he had nowhere to go. Really Michael was just in his way. Oh, oh my god. And, but lucky enough, the F1 cars they are very Michael safe. Michael checking on him though, making sure he's okay. That's good. Even though as, bad in, as Michael car, was cold-hearted, cold you know, cold-hearted on the track as a racer he was, he still cared. Ah, his brother Ralph. Oh my god, I remember this race. Total carnage, it started with... Yeah, it just in starts. You if you get a lead or if you're the lead car, you're weaving, you know, all over the track to try to keep your lead. And he was doing it, and Ralph just I could not break in time here. He just goes over the back end of Barrichello. Yes, in fact, it was rims. He moved over to the right hand side. And then he's got the brakes pressed, but <laughs> like brakes ain't ain't nothing stopping you except the. A wall here. Man. So, so lucky that. And my. Oh! oh I didn't see Christian that. Yes, that was it's another one of those the where they're trying to catch where they're trying to catch slipstream and just get too close, you get moving too quick and Next thing you know, you're clipping the back end, and he did a full 360. Teeny, he just touches. Look at the car goes up. Comes down, the landed straight up. Over a complete 360 degree somersault. Yeah. Back on more or less its wheels. What Man. an amazingly miraculous escape there! Holy crap! Christian Fittipaldi is lucky there. Oh no! That was all right there. Oh, Mark Kieran Kieran taking out Red Bull. The oh Kieran my God! Thankfully, he's all right. He's thrown out his steering wheel. What an oh impact that was! Oh my God! He was trying to slipstream the uh, Lotus. Yeah, that's exactly what he was doing there. He was trying to slipstream the the. Lo they called him Lotus, but this was their first year. It was Lotus Caterham, and like he was trying to slipstream him there, and Caterham was. It looked like finally was trying to get out of the way because he knew the faster driver was coming. He was probably getting blue flags there to move. Weber just didn't realize he was moving a little bit for him, and this is the end result. Ah, Goes over yeah. the top and just so flew. Oh, oh man! Almost landed his head right on this curb right here. Man, oh, oh man, he's that lucky. Is. So and so lucky. Upside down and bounced again. Look at this, man! Wow! What? Oh my God! Weber is Weber is so lucky. He did not end up more injured the way he came down on that curb, potentially with his head. Oh my God! But guys, let me know in the comment section down. Down below, what you guys thought of that? I mean, geez, some of the some of the airborne cars there. That's that is unreal to see in Formula One. But like I said, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought. Let me know what you what I should react to next. What Formula One video should I react to next? Let me know that in the comment section down below, guys. Also, slap a like on this video. That lets me know that you guys love these reaction videos and you guys want me to do more of them. And it also gets it out to more F1 fans to watch these kind of videos. And guys, guys, 
if I can be serious for just a moment. Subscribe if you guys are new to this channel for more daily and weekly Formula One content. I'm pumping content out all the time on this channel. Got race previews, race recaps, all sorts of stuff. Reaction videos just like this. So guys, subscribe if you guys are new. But guys, for the American F1 fan, I'm Eric Ringle, signing off.